Welcome. So now we're going to cover the actual provisioning of the Lookout for Work app if you're going to deploy that. And it, that really kind of depends on your requirements, like I mentioned before, if you want to get a lot of the app and content filtering and all that kind of stuff, you're going to look at that that area. So I've already got the app from VPP, which is really the only right way to do Apple. And so I'm going to name my assignment. I'm just call it Lookout for Work. Give it to my test account. Allocate like five licenses to it. And so now we go through the whole deployment process. So we're going to leave it at auto because that makes sense. Now we're going to go to app config. So within here, we're going to add a bunch of keys which are needed. Let's just make sure we don't have anything else that we want to set first. Make MDM managed, always important. Okay, so now we're going to add the first key, which is device UDID. Just to make it simple, I'll add it from the other page. So that's going to pass the device UDID in there. The next, we're going to tell it what MDM, which is the AirWatch key. Then we'll say email, pass the email address. And then the last thing we have to do is this global enrollment code. Okay, we got that in there. Okay, so from here we're going to go create. It's a Tuesday and I'm tired. I forgot to set these. It's a little silly, but now we'll click create. Note the, the cool little uh, default thing it has in there now. And I just got to make sure I add my test device. Now, one other thing we're going to do, which I think a lot of you will be really interested in, is something called force activation for Lookout, which basically means is until they launch the Lookout app, they're going to be stopped from really doing anything, which I think is probably, it's kind of, I guess it's a kind of a toss up on if it's good or not. Not great for user experience, but good for overall everything else, I think. So let's build out this profile. We're going to call this Lookout. Force activation. We're going to deploy that to, down to John test. And then we're going to configure VPN. Okay. So we're going to call this thing lookout for work. You're going to select custom. You should notice that's not in there kind of should be since there's a whole partnership thing now but you know not going to complain so com lookout work the server is going to be that they're missing one of the squigglies there they should probably fix that we're going to leave this blank Leave that blank. User authentication is going to be certificate. Identity is none. We're going to leave this and this enabled. Action is going to be connect. Interface is going to be any. We're going to leave the rest of this blank. One last thing we will add just to show you, and not that we have a ton of, you know, iOS core supervised all over the place like we used to, but if you are using supervised and you are managing notification permissions. You can do notifications pre-granted in here with a value of true, just to kind of round it all out. But anyway, after that, you just do a save and publish. So you just do a save and publish, and it's just that simple.